among Istanbul's varied architecture are its centuries-old mansions. Built in the Ottoman era, they've evolved with modern times. And their stories are being told in a multimedia theatrical experience entitled House of Hundred. For creator Yeshim Özsoy, the story is personal. It's about the mansion her 100-year-old grandmother worked and lived in, in the Üsküdar neighborhood of Istanbul. I'm joined in the studio by Yeshim Özsoy herself. Thank you so much for coming on our set today. So, Thank you. I'm going to ask a lot of questions about the play, of course, but before we get into this, can you please tell me about, about your grandmother and your relationship with her? Well, I mean, um, basically, um, the project is uh, based on her stories that she told me. Um, I have been talking to her about, because she's an old lady, let's say, uh, 100 years old. She was born in 1919, 15th of March. And uh, it's very interesting to talk to her, to listen to the old stories that she's, uh, uh, she mentions, and um, especially about how it was during the transition from the Ottoman Empire to the Republic. And also there are stories that she, he she heard from her own uh, great-grandfathers or uh, grandmothers. Um, so... I have been videotaping or taking her, uh, you know, uh, uh, voice, you know, uh, on record uh, to, in order to capture those stories for a long time. And how are those stories reflected in the play? Basically, the play is about uh, an old mansion that she lived. Uh, she was actually born in that mansion. And... Uh, uh, the play is about the transition from the Ottoman Empire to the Republic, and this mansion used to belong to her great-grandfathers, uh, and they were um, servants. They were serving the palace uh, in the old times, like the head of the, the treasury compounds, or uh, who they were responsible, uh, you know, um, two great-grandfathers. Uh, they were responsible for, uh, of the prophet's um, uh, treasures and mm -hmm. things like that in the palace. And um, mm -hmm. so this mansion belonged to, uh, was given to the great-grandfathers, and it was called Ibrahim Etem Efendi Mansion. Uh, but uh, since the empire finished, uh, and the, gra well, the last great-grandfather gra died, uh, they stayed in this mansion on their own uh, because uh, it used to be, of course, when you serve the palace and the empire, uh, there was some uh, wage uh, dedicated to the great, uh, great father. And so they actually, the house becomes, I mean, the mansion becomes impoverished and uh, deserted mm. uh, as they transit from, you know, as the transition begins into the Republic. And works great for your metaphor about the Ottoman Empire. Yes, in Turkey because as well. these women, they are in this, you know, um, summer mansion. There was a, also a winter mansion, and this was a summer mm -hmm. mansion. And when there was a fire in the Jibali uh, district in Fatih, the big fire in Istanbul, that was demolished. And uh, so they stay in this mansion, but they don't know what to, how to take care of it, because it's kind of like, uh, you know, Anton Chekhov's uh, cherry orchard, exactly, you know, the transition. Exactly. And, uh, you know, they, they, they start selling, you know, some uh, furnitures or they are renting the place to mm -hmm. other people because in the Ottoman Empire, women didn't work, you yeah. know, of course. I mean, this tension between uh, past and present and even, even the future, the Ottoman Empire, Turkey, mm -hmm. etc. This is tackled a lot in Turkish literature mm -hmm. uh, and like other arts and culture sure. productions in Turkey. Why did you want to do something about it? Mm -hmm. I mean, because I sometimes feel like it's overdone, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. So I wonder what, what's your take on it? I don't think that it's overdone because uh, our um, relationship with our past is not really well formulated, I think. Mm -hmm. It's not really talked about, uh, especially today, you know. Uh, that's what I feel. And um, maybe in a sense that uh, instead of disregarding this whole past to remember and to understand this past, I'm, and this is a... 
uh, dilemma that we are living through right now, especially, you know, when the modern Turkey is taking its turn. We have other talks about, you know, uh, valuing maybe the Ottoman Empire and, and what it means for us. But then how do we exactly approach this, all these issues? And uh, the reason why the play came out was basically it's a, a co-production with uh, a theater in Berlin. It's, it's called uh, Maxim Gorky Theater and, uh, and also uh, in Zurich, Theater Zor uh, Neumarkt. And this was a co-production um, done for the festival that Maxim Gorky did uh, in 2000, at the end of 2018 in October. Uh, it was War or Peace, it was called, and it was trying to connect the relationship between 1918 and today. Mm -hmm. Because there's, um, um, uh, uh, there's a dispersed, the, 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 during that time, there's the First World War, and there's, of course, the nationalism mm -hmm. uh, is rising, and uh, there's some kind of a... Uh, new identities, new, new identities, and everything is deconstructed somehow. Uh, and, uh, and and that time also uh, also is uh, is happening somehow right now in terms of uh, the countries mm -hmm. being more close uh, within each other and uh, maybe not accepting other countries. Uh, for example, now the whole European Union is talking about not uniting, but how do we unite, you know, uh, uh, yeah. with all this, you know, immigration issues and everything, you know. The whole world is actually discussing these issues uh, centered around uh, um, nations and, you know, histories and identities. So uh, when they asked me to do a play like that, between <laughs> to, co to connect 1918 and 2018, and it was a project for this festival, um, uh, I didn't. I'm not an historian, so I thought uh, since I'm not an historian, I you uh, came up I, with a I, I went to my grandmother basically yes. and asked, so tell me what happened. So that's basically well. Sounds like it worked because mm -hmm. you got a lot of praise from mm -hmm. the international media as well. Well, Yeshima, so unfortunately, this is all the time we have. But thank you so much for joining us. Anshu. You're welcome. Bye.